I'm Michael Tressler, and today we're going to talk about enabling public preview on Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows. Why would you enable public preview? It's so that you can see features before they go to general availability. You'll see them probably two, three weeks before it goes live, so you're not going to get months in advance of features, but you'll see things uh, with enough warning so you can try them out, test them out, decide if you want to enable the feature, disable the feature, update user documentation, update your IT documentation, all of that sort of thing. So it's easy to do. It's kind of a long video because I'm being very didactic and explaining every little segment of it. But ultimately, it's just three lines of text. How do you know if your Teams Rooms is in public preview already or not? Well, the way to do that is to look at the console and there will be a message that pops up in the upper right underneath here where it says confirm at 1.56 p.m. confirm Adams. After we go through the process of setting up the XML file to enable public preview, we will see a message underneath confirm Adams. So let's go ahead, set up the XML file that we're gonna need to enable this feature, set it up, do some reboots, and then we'll come back to this screen and see if we can notice a change. All right, let me show you how to enable public preview for Teams Rooms. There's an article out on Docs. If we scroll down a little, it tells us right here, public preview for Microsoft Teams Rooms on Windows. So let me zoom in on that. And it basically says public preview is off by default to turn on public preview, add enable public preview true to your XML configuration files. So how do we do that? Well. Uh, a couple things we also need. We also need to be at least on Teams Rooms store application version 4.12.126, which also points out in the release notes that you can receive public preview features through XML settings. So what are these XML settings? There's an article on Teams Rooms docs on how to use an XML configuration file. Essentially, it is a, I'm zooming out so you can kind of see, <laughs> a, an XML file. So it's got the XML, you know, whatever they're called, tags, whatever these things are called, and um, you know, opening and closing. So for the screen share, we, the opening, auto screen share, close, auto screen share. So if I search in here for public preview, here we can see I need to put this line although the default sample here gives false. And another cool thing with uh, this article is if we zoom down, we can see, there we go, enable public preview disabled by default if true public preview is enabled. And then users can access features in the public preview. So let's do that. On my desktop, I've already created a general file called skype settings.xml.txt.txt. One tip is to make sure that you have file extensions shown, file name extensions. You do not want to copy a, you do not want to create a text file here. You want to create an XML file. So we want to make sure that these text extensions are gone when we put this to use. So here's what the XML file looks like. Let me zoom in a little, pretty simple. Opening tag of Skype settings and a closing tag of Skype settings and then enable public preview is true. This is the only, this is all we need to enable public preview. So I'm going to take this file and I'm going to rename it now to be an XML file by getting rid of all these .txt.txt that have shown up. Uh, yes, I want to change it. And now it's an XML file. And just for fun, we can double click on it, uh, open it in Edge, see what it looks like. And cool, it's an XML file. Next thing we need to do is copy it to a specific location. Now, if we go back to the Skype settings XML file, we have to copy it to this folder. So at startup, if a Microsoft Teams Rooms console finds an XML file named specifically Skype settings XML, in my experience, capitalization does not matter, but you can use a capital S's if you'd like. You have to copy it to this wonky folder. Keep in mind, Teams Rooms is a Windows Store app. So we get end up as a window in the Windows Store tree of Windows. So I have created that as a quick access pin on my file explorer so I can get to it quickly. I take my Skype settings XML, copy it here. Note, I do not have the capital S's. And then I'm gonna reboot. And 
I'll be back after the reboot and we will take a look at what has changed. We can see in the upper right, it now says public developer preview ring 3.6. That's a small number. <laughs> it's a small number to read. I think it's a six. So there we go. Now as new features or as new, new previews get released for Teams Rooms, I will see it first on this console and on this implementation of Teams Rooms. And I can get up to speed, learn the tricks, read about it, try it out, uh, update documentation if I need to, disable it if I want to, before it hits the, the, re the rest of my um, Teams Rooms that I have deployed throughout my organization. So that is how you enable uh, public developer preview on Microsoft Teams Rooms for Windows.